Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it very much. Uh, it helps out my channel. And um, I just appreciate it. This is a lengthy article here. And this will probably be my last one. It is early hours of the morning for me here. <laughs> but I'm a night owl, as you all know. Well, here we go. Biden puts ragu regimes ahead of American families. Is that rogue regimes? R-O-G-U-E? A ragu regimes ahead of American families. Doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> President Joe Biden is draining the strategic petroleum reserve to keep gas prices low solely because he wants to mitigate voter wrath against the Democrats. This comes as OPEC cuts back production by 2 million barrels a day. I did another video on that, I think last week. That will drive up cost, drive up the repurchase cost of the petroleum reserve and increase our national debt, which has now shot above $31 trillion, with interest rates rising and debt service payments rising. Biden has created this mess in a large part because he is subservient to rogue regimes, rogu regimes, and puts their needs ahead of Americans. The outcome will be emboldened, emboldened China and a national security headache for the United States. That's E M B O L D E N E D. Emboldened China. Hmm. Some of these words, people, I don't know where they come up with them. One of the reasons OPEC is going to cut production is because a majority of the Arab nations involved in OPEC are furious with Biden trying to cut a deal with Iran. I thought Iran was one of the countries that are against us. And he's involved with Iran now? Oh, don't quote me on that. I'll do some searching. Biden stopped considering the Houthi terrorists, H-O-U-T-H-I, Houthi terrorists, funded by Iran to be terrorists, and the Houthi then escalated attacks on the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. Mm. <clears throat> in advancing Iran's interest at the peace table, Biden risked further destabilization in the Middle East in large part because no one really believes Iran will stop until it has nuclear weapon. Oh, God, that's all we need. Iran is no friend of most of its Middle Eastern neighbors and wants to be the dominant power in the Middle East over and against Saudi Arabia. This has alienated him from Saudi Arabia and UAE and others as China and Russia seek to in a graduate in graduate I N G R A T I A T E in ingraginate whatever themselves <laughs> with our longtime allies. Now, I'll work on that word because I work on them until I get them. Ingraginate. Ingraginate themselves with our longtime allies, I guess. Biden has also been highly anti antagonistic. 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 Whatever. <laughs> to Saudi Arabia. He insisted he would not meet with a de facto ruler 
Mohammed bin Solomon, Solomon then had to go grovel to Solomon for more oil. Now, despite the groveling to his voice or his face, Solomon has responded to Biden's knives in Solomon's back by leading OPEC to his production reduction. Production reduction. What is Biden doing? Biden's team and congressional Democrats decided to threaten both OPEC and Saudi Arabia. Biden is signaling his now okay with Congress pushing legislation that would purport to make OPEC legally liable for price collusion. Good luck with that when the OPEC stops sending the United States oil. Senator Chris Murphy, Democrat Kentucky, or Connecticut, C-O-N-N -N dot, wants a wholesale revision of our relationship with the Saudis. Doing I either will make the Carter years look downright utopian. Unfortunately, the Biden response further enables Rogu regime, regimes first. The Wall Street Journal reports Biden is going to ease sanctions on Venezuela, a nation that brutalizes its own people. So Chevron can go get more oil. Biden has been hostile to Saudi Arabia in large part because of the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, K-H-A-S-H-O-G-G-I, Jamal Khashoggi, who wrote for the Washington Post. Because of Venezuelans only kill their citizens and not Washington Post reporters. Biden is willing to help them raise more money to kill and persecute more Venezuelans. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't read through this whole article, you know. Biden is willing to help them raise more money to kill and prosecute more Venezuelans. The best response would be for Biden's administration to open up domestic energy production. It would lower costs and create jobs. But the Biden administration would rather alienate our Middle Eastern allies, embolden terrorist regimes, and side with murderous dictators than let Americans go to work produce, producing our own domestic energy. In September, the Wall Street Journal reported the Biden administration has leased fewer acres for oil and gas drilling offshore and on federal land than any other administration in its early stages dating back to the end of World War II. Biden administration has leased fewer acres for oil and gas drilling offshore and on federal land than any other administration in its early stages dating back to the end of World War II. The Biden administration's infatuation with getting rid of fossil fuels, something that will not happen, is driving up inflation and empowering China, Russia, Iran, and Venezuela. Part of the environmentalist cult, the Biden administration is going to profoundly destabilize the world. I told you, I told you, I told you. Right now, it's draining our domestic oil reserves, driving up the cost to fill those reserves back up just as we can least afford the payments. <clears throat> I have to take a deep breath. Former President Barack Obama wanted, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, wanted to never let a crisis go to waste. Biden is manufacturing a crisis to take advantage of it. But a lot smarter and more nefarious regimes are taking advantage of his aged infirmities and his ad administration's melodorous schemes to force Americans into lithium in dependence, lithium dependence, largely controlled by China. Well, what else? 
Now, is that really news to anybody out there? Please give me a comment. Is that news? That's not news. Now, as gas prices rise again, expect Democrats to claim Saudi Arabia is trying to help elect Republicans. And this was written by Eric Erickson. And read features by other creators, syndicate writers. Visit the Creators Syndicate webpage at www.creators.com. Standing at the podium as part of the White House Forum on Food and Hunger, President Joe Biden began working through the list of people to thank. He made it bipartisan. He thanked several Republicans and got to his friend, Standing at the podium as part of the White House Forum on Food and Hunger, began working through a list of people to thank, he made by Parson, several Republicans, and got to his friend Jackie, and this has been in a couple videos already. She was killed in a car accident, and he thinks she's still alive. Mm. And he's our president. I feel bad for anybody that would have dementia, but how in the world did they vote him in as president? I wonder if the rats under the table that had part in it are happy now. They live in this country, maybe. Maybe they're from God knows where, wherever Biden and his son had. What do I want to say? Agendas with, against the United States, against the security of our country. There is no good way to consider what happened. Yeah, because this lady, Jackie Warlor Warlorski of Indiana, died a month ago in a car crash. But he thinks she's, she's supposed to be there. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? Biden asked. Why did they vote him in as president? Well, don't really know. Except for what I've read, what I've searched, and like I said before, he's in with some rats that want to down us, and boy, they're doing a good job of it, aren't they? Look where we are today. Unbelievable. Some of the stuff I read, I just can't quite comprehend. Why would anybody... Now, he lives here. His home... One of his homes, anyways, in the United States. Even though he goes to the basement and sleeps there, I guess. You know, I feel bad for Jill. Does anybody else feel bad for Jill? She must have one burden on her shoulders. And going through everything he's done to the United States of America. Supposed to be the president of his country. For the people. And look where we are. No words. I better not say no more. Okay. I'm going to go look for another article. I'd love to find something happy. Positive. I'll be back. As soon as I find my cam button, I'll be back, and God bless you all.